All right, we are back. Sorry about that with the stream. But anyway, welcome. This is another game I know basically nothing about called Fayboro. Um, yeah, let's just, let's, okay, let's see the controls. You and eat, Lou interact, interact. So there's two different types of interact. Run, crouch for control, escaper J for journal, and camera move. Okay, pretty simple. I, I saw this one in the store and it was free, but I really like the art style and I like the char main character's design. And she looks, you got a little fly thing. So, let's check this out, see what it's like. Uh, dearest Beatrice, this time I'm not just asking you to come back solely because I miss you, but because I need your help. I think I have finally discovered something in relation to what happened to Ernest all those years ago, although I'm afraid I am running out of time. I'll explain everything in detail when you get here. Be careful who you trust when you arrive. Please make haste to be Agnes XOX. All right, so we're here trying to find investigate something. Blue, strange to be back, isn't it, Beatrice? All right, so Lou is our little bug friend. Looks like something is is someone is here to meet us. You can puzzle over that letter later. Perhaps Agnes can explain it in person. All right, so. Let's go talk to that tired-looking gentleman over there. Perhaps Agnes asked him to meet us. He didn't have to, but fine. Never hurts to have company. It hasn't changed a bit here. Feels like it's stuck in time. Alright. Alright, so what's our objective? Ernest's 10th birthday with Agnes and me. What has she found? Five years ago, this seemed like an obsession. A phase. Can't wait to see her. To-do list. Get to school. Okay, so this is all the stuff I have right now. This is probably me. I'm guessing this is Beatrice. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, but look at my character design. I really like this design. Getting cold feet. I know it's been a while, but I'm sure Agnes will be happy to see you. We always intended to come back sooner. I'm sure we did. I like the look of this world. It's nice and, like, kind of fey, but not, like, overly, overtly fey. Nice and mysterious. Now, who's this gentleman? He looks like a postman of some sort. And he has his own little loo like creature. No. Oi, with red hair like that, you must be Miss Arkwhite. Eh, good evening. Ah. Agnes mentioned you were coming. Asked me to see you arrive safely. Yeah. My name's Stan. Milkman by morning, postman by day, barber at tea time, and officer by night. You are a man. You're a true renaissance man of, ha of handy jobs, aren't you? <laughs> it's a pleasure. Hey. School, was it? I'll take yous. I'll take yous. That's very kind. Yeah. It's no problem at all. Off we go. Hey, <laughs> Miss Arkwright. Beatrice will do, eh, Miss Arkwright? Hush. All right, so yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Beat. Welcome home, Beatrice. Welcome to Fayboro, the town of Fayboro. Looks really nice. It's also still a go to school objective. All right. Wonder what we're gonna be doing. I love the design aesthetic of this game. The character. I I really like this character design. I like her little curl in her hair. Look at that. That's really neat. Also, I love Stan. Stan's cool. He's a man of he's a man of many trades. Ooh. Fancy tree in the middle of the city. I always like those. In my fantasy. We're we gonna explanation of what you are, Lou, or Jump down. Running around. Okay, the movement's a little stiff and like you can tell the animations. Not keeping up with, like, the actual, like, moving mechanic. But. You grew up here, no? So no use showing you around. It's awful quiet these days, anyway. Every day is busy prepping, uh, preparing for the Eclipse Festival, of course. Don't suppose that's why you're here, is it? I'm just visiting. Hmm. Fair enough. It's a lovely place to grow up, that's for sure. Moved here from the city, I did. Like the peace and like the peace and quiet. <laughs> Bit too quiet now, though. <laughs> Never mind. Come along. 
I will come along in a second. I want to look around and see what I can... Oh. Can I interact? I can go up these stairs, it looks like. Hey. Who goes there? Uh, Miss Arkwright. Oh, I remember you. You were a naughty, naughty child when you were last year. Keep off my pumpkins, yeah? Beatrice. Alright, so same thing. Uh, keep off your pumpkins, you say. Well, what if I want to not do that? I see you're having a good day, but have you considered not having it? Agne- Oh, apologies, I was expecting someone else. The bookshop's closed. Come back tomorrow. Are you about to say Agnes? Perhaps they know each other. Anyway, we better get to the school and talk to her. Brr, chilly night. Don't go knocking on any doors, B. People are probably in bed. Knock, knock, Ginger. Has coming back here awakened your mischief? It's about time. Uh, so I was a mischievous little child. I'm going to keep knocking on doors. These decorations don't look like any fairy I know. I always thought the other ones are more accurate. Maybe these are actually meant to be people. <laughs> I'm sure. A little sip of movement. She... Her face doesn't have any change in expression. Which I'm not going to knock this game for that. This game is obviously like a very small studio game. And it's supposed to be very short as well. So... Just have to do that. Oh, look at the little people. I just noticed that. So yeah, they do kind of look more like people than Faye. Well, I think Agnes never left our old room. So that's a safe bet. I do like this tree, this intertwining tree with these lanterns on the inside. It's pretty aesthetic. Uh, can I knock on your door? No nighttime dealings! <laughs> I mean, why would there be? We better leave her alone. She's probably preparing fireworks for the festival. Her fairy was always suspiciously proficient with fire explosives. What does that mean? Is there a prejudice against... Is there a type of fairy that you have a prejudice against? Come on, Lou, you're better than that. Do better. Smells good, even at night. Do you think they still do those little crumpets for little people? Oh god, I just had crumpets recently because a friend got them for me. They're really delicious. I quite like them. Oh god, more frame drops. Uh, let's see. Agnes and Teeth always stole me some when they snuck in the back. So thoughtful of them. That's good. What can I do over here? A whole lot of nothing. I think there's a fairy on the other side of this door. It's faint, but I can hear her residence. Strange to be away from her human. Perhaps they're not getting on? Oh, so this is a world where humans and fairies have, like, a, a bond of some sort? I always like that sort of thing, like, when humans and a magical creature bond. Hey, do you want to disturb people at this time of night? Yes. You can't just walk into people's homes without being invited. I'm not a vampire. That's It should be fine. That's vampires. <laughs> God damn it. I really set you up for that one. Let's see if I can do another one. Fine. Alright, there we go. Can I go up this set of stairs? I can. This is where Agnes got your shawl. I wish we had time to try on some outfits. Maybe another time. Perhaps. Perhaps. For a chilly night. There we go. Alright. So let's keep following. Alright, Stan, lead the way. It's a tiny little village. But it's probably lovely. Ooh, the academy? Is it Hogwarts? No. It's not turfy enough. Can I go over here, or can I? Oh, nope, I don't want to break the game. I don't know if this game is very stable. But ooh, that's a pretty school. Welcome home. I'll head back to the square. My fairy gets the sleep for the both of us. Oodaloo. Night, Miss Arkwright. Night. I won't hang around forever. Just looking out for fuse, that's all. Good night. Good night. Fair enough. Alright, Lou, let's check around. Let's walk around. I'm gonna do a harumphin. A harumphin good time. But it doesn't look like there's anything around, so let's enter the school. I'm guessing we're coming back as, like, a teacher, because we're specific about being called Miss Arkwright. Which would mean we're, we're maybe a 
teacher of some sort. A big school for such a tiny town. Unless that only represents like a small portion of the town. But they said it's like really quiet. This way leads to the classrooms. You've got your baccalaureate journalism classes to worry about now. Oh, so I'm back for like college? Let's hope Professor Russell doesn't execute us for skiving. I'm hoping that's a joke. I'm hoping they don't just kill. Classrooms, okay. The professor is probably still awake. Let's pop our head in. I mean, we could, but first I'm going to walk around. See what I can find. Let's see, where does this little door lead? This is the door to the assembly hall, isn't it? I don't miss assembly. The floor in there was so cold and you never got a bench. The way they keep us fairies pacified seems kind of barbaric after how relaxed it was. It is at the, it is at the university. Wait, so they have to pacify fairies? Like, how do they do that? Do they, like, drug you all? That seems not great. Perhaps there's a dark side to this story. We shall see. I go through there. If that's the door we want to go through, so let's not do that. Better pop our heads into Lachlan's office before we barge in on Agnes. Okay, fine, I'll go tell the head professor that I'm here. Hello? Oh, look at you. Beatrice? What a pleasant surprise. What brought you home all of a sudden? I was not notified of your coming. Not to worry. Do come in. I will, and I will... Ah, Beatrice, terribly sorry, but try not to move anything. Everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. Ah, your OCD, I see. Um, no, um, not that one either, I'm afraid. Delicate, valuable, you know what I mean. Don't touch that. I'm sorry, Beatrice, but the things here are important study. You haven't changed a bit, have you? Don't touch that. Okay, so now I think I've exhausted that. But what if I go over here? Don't touch that. Okay, so I'm just making myself a nuisance. There. Whoa, his fairy's got... His fairy is big and has four arms? No, three arms. Has like a hood and has like... A, it looks like, kind of like a scribe and has a crystal. Interesting. My fairy is little and tiny. Let Professor Lachlan know you're home. Okay. Well, I'm here, Lachlan. My apologies, Beatrice. Although surprised, I am pleased to see you. It's been a long time. You look well. I hope they're treating you all right at the university. They speak highly of you in their letters. Which, I must say, raises the question. Why are you here? Surely you have plenty to keep you busy. Um... I came to see Agnes. Ah, of course. She'll be ecstatic to see you. Well, she's not here right now. She comes in late these days. I'm sure it'll be alright for you to stay in her, your old room with Agnes tonight. Your bed is still free. She wouldn't let me put any new students in there. Thank you for visiting. It truly is good to see you. Good night. I hope Agnes is along soon. Oh, so I was expelled from the university for being an a for being a jokester, a Loki. Mm -hmm. Good night, Beatrice. Well, um, I guess we'll find. I guess someone's gonna find out eventually. He seemed a little flustered to see you. You might have grown a little, but you haven't changed that much. Let's go see Agnes. You're right. Let's go see Agnes. Didn't this room belong to Abigail before? Yes, darkness. We'd always tattle when we snuck when we snuck Ernest to the girl to the girls' dorm. Agnes got her back more mo most times though in her own way. Ah, we're learning a little bit about this lovely area. This way leads to the classrooms. You've got journals. Okay, so that's the classrooms thing again. Well, let's go check this out. That's my door. That's my room. So, let's go check out what this one is. I always used to hear Mimi's songs from this room. Her and her human moved away before we did. Oh, That's an interesting one. I want a fairy. Oh. This room has some character. I approve. Agnes has been busy. Are you alright? You look kind of peaky. It's odd being back after so long. Don't worry. I'm sure Agnes understands you are busy. She's not the type to hold it against you. Come on, maybe we can shed some light on her letter by taking a look around. Uh, let me. I'm gonna write myself with the letter set again. 
Uh, dearest Beatrice, this time I'm not asking you to come back solely because I miss you, but because I need your help. I think I finally discovered something in relation to what happened to Ernest all those years ago. So we're here to figure out what happened to a boy. Uh, specifically the boy that they were talking about in the journal. Ooh, a typewriter. Time for me to save my game, right? Hey, this letter is addressed to us. What does it say? Beatrice, the eclipse is almost upon us. What I mentioned about those tight-lipped intellectuals goes deeper than I had imagined. Literally, Beatrice, if this is the last letter Ernest is... Oh no. It stops so suddenly. Definitely mid-sentence. And it's even more confusing than the one she sent me. Sent us. She says it's the last letter, but we've only got one more. And she says she's mentioned things she completely hasn't. Like an eclipse. There must be more letters. I think it's safe to assume there are. He must have been about to write something about Ernest, and the ink is all dry. She got interrupted. Yes, I suppose that she could have stepped out, but why wouldn't she come back? The ink is all dried up. Can that really be it? She isn't here. I'm afraid that might be the case. Though the professor seemed adamant she'd be along shortly. Probably because he's secretly the bad guy. I don't know. I don't know. I'd only know a bit about storytelling perspective. Stuff like that. Well, now we know there's a missing letter from her. When she comes back, we can just ask her in person, right? Let's see if we can find more before we hit the hit the hay. Sounds good to me. So we have another letter. Poke around her study. What is, it? what is this thing? What does the pen do? I don't know. Oh, let's check over here. The three of you look so happy. Agnes must really cherish that memory, too. You haven't mentioned Ernest in a long time. Agnes has really took his appearance with a porosity. You've got nothing to feel guilty for. People grieve in different ways. Yeah, oh, so there's a falling out between us because of what happened to Ernest, and Ernest apparently died in a tragic accident a few years ago. That's what I'm getting. Ernest always seemed to struggle. Until his stutter? Cause or causality? I thought his stutter was charming anyway. The three of you look so happy. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Can I do it again? Ernest seemed to struggle until Agnes. That's right, she could sort anyone out. Okay, so Agnes was responsible for helping Ernest get better with his stutter? Oh god, the conspiracy boards. This conspiracy board memes from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. A show I have never seen, but I know a lot of the memes from it. Funny looking badge. I thought the book was the thing I was looking at, but alright. Funny looking badge. Looks like a homemade military position. Pretty poorly drawn, but must be sentimental or she wouldn't put it on her coat. She's as cool as ever. Let's see if we can find more before we hit the K. Okay, so we have... Oh, I see. Looks like it's definitely about Ernest, but what could she have found? Odd badge for Agnes, most likely sentimental. Okay, so we got... Okay, so we got journal pages. I do like that. Wow, these are very detailed. No idea what the symbols mean, but it definitely looks important. I bet this has something to do with what she's discovered. It's late. Let's go to bed. Agnes won't mind if we use hers, will she? And something's a little suspicious, maybe. She's been busy. Busier than she ever was in class, that, that's for sure. Diagrams show the folklore and theories behind the upcoming Eclipse Festival. Okay, so everything is going to be around the Eclipse. Oh no, the Eclipse! I'm, is there a bailet? Please tell me there's not a bailet! Berserk fans will get that. Let's get some rest. Agnes won't mind if we keep Kip in her bed. She certainly made herself at home in yours. On yours. Oh, ho. Well, guess I'll take. Guess I'll go to bed then. Arise, arise, for every shadow flies. Uh, Agnes isn't here. You're right. Oh no, I wonder why. And with that unfinished letter. What now, Lou? Excellent question, Watson. So Watson exists in this world. No reason to panic. Let's think. Uh, Lachlan seemed pretty sure that Agnes would be here to meet us. Perhaps we should ask him if he knows why she hasn't come back yet. You've collected a few of the things we found here in your journal, haven't you? 
If you need to remind yourself, open it up and take a look. Now, quick march to Lachlan's office. Hop to. First things first, hunt down the professor and see what he knows about Agnes' whereabouts. No rest for the wicked, except for all the rest you just had. I mean, yeah, I've had a lovely nap. Alright, is there anything else I can grab? We really didn't expect you to come back. You made a right mess of your bed anyway. And all this laundry. I guess when you're focused on something, personal health comes second. You don't you know all about that, eh? Oi. Oh, let's see if what it says on the second. Yep. Yeah, so okay. Maybe you look so happy. Okay. Nothing else there. Alright, let's see what goes on. Oh god! Oh god, it's a peeping tom. Look out, Den! We've been made! Split! Do, do, do. That was weird. Indeed, weird boy. You probably expected Agnes, but you gave him a nasty shock. Still, suspicious behavior. Should we follow him? I say yes, but first let's go over here. Okay, so no one over here to talk to, but uh, let's go find this boy. I have questions for you. I shall interrogate you. The classrooms, okay. We have two catch catch we wretch. catch we wretch. I'm guessing this is like Scottish or Irish in terms of like the people that developed it because they're using a lot of uh, Irish stuff. Or like uh that area. A Yusa, child Yusa, small child. Not the child I'm looking for. Adam. Why does Herbert always have to run inside? If Nanny catches him, he'll get scolded. I'll probably get in trouble just for being here. Okay. Don't worry, Adam. I will sort this dude out. I'll sort this kid out. Not that way. That's where they're all having classes right now. So... Herbert must be this way. Or you go outside? Guess I go outside. Are you? Hello. Hello, little girl. Emma. Ugh, that Herbert is so annoying. I'm telling Nanny. Bright green eyes. You must be Miss Arkwright. Professor mentioned you'd come back. You're a lot prettier than I expected. You wouldn't mess around like Herbert, would you? He must have been dropped as a child. His fairy is just as bad. Oh, that's rude. That's rude. Probably, but very funny and very much in line with what a kid would say. I kind of would like to learn more about how this world works, honestly. Like, how does magic in this world work if we have fairies? Do we get magic through fairies? Or is it the fairies that do the magic and they just bond to us humans for some reason? What do they get from the bond? There's usually like some sort of symbiotic relationship because of the bond. Ah, everything's open now, I think. Go up here first. Still not open? Dance dress. That's right, they're probably prepping the dance uniforms. You're old enough for one of the nice ones. Oh, do get one. The fairy uniforms are pretty dull. Outrageous. Unheard of. Outlandish. Downright insulting. Preposterous. An insult to fashion everywhere. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. That's right, they're probably prepping the dance uniforms. Yep. Okay, so they just do the same thing, but like, one does a little longer. That's good to know. I smell crumpets, along with all sorts of other things. Don't hold back on the cakes while you're here. Is that a fat joke? It's a little kitty. Little kitty drawing. Yay. I think there's a fairy on this side of this door. It's faint, but I hear it. Must have an argument. Yeah. He must be out here somewhere. Maybe he knows something? After him. I'm trying to figure out what happened to Agnes now. First and foremost. Yes, yes, we're making the marquee canopy. Honestly, we've got the whole day to set it up. Let's ask Agnes to dance. Let's ask Agnes to dance with us under the canopy. She's the best dancer. When we find her, of course. Yep, that's the key. When we find her, not if, when. Timkin? There's a chicken behind that coffin-shaped door. Okay, that's the boy. I I don't want to talk to him just yet. 
Creepy fence. Wonder what's back there. Ah, uh, well, we'll probably find out later, right? Hello. You look cool. You and your fairy look cool. I like the fairy design. But, um, hey. Oh, you got an astrolabe on your, on your belt. That's cool. You must be a cartographer and a map maker, maybe? Hello. Vega. Can I help you? Uh, I'm booking for a look. Is that right? No. Can I help you? Uh, uh, right. Hello. Can I help you? Uh, do you know Agnes? Mm -hmm. Of course. Are you a friend of hers? I'm her tutor, so she and I have become quite close as of late. Why is she capitalized? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her in a day or two. One? How many days? Hmm. Well, um, three now, I suppose. You, you just added another day. Hmm. Why? What's the matter? Agnes is missing. <laughs> missing, you say? Huh, I very much doubt she's in any trouble, dear. This is Agnes we're talking about. Hmm. Such fiery red locks. Oh. You wouldn't happen to be Miss Beatrice Arkwright, would you? Oh. Yes, I see. Agnes mentioned you frequently. Hmm. Well, love, unless there's an, any alarming proof there's any danger, I'll not worry. <laughs> Agnes is a wild spirit. She's wherever the wind takes her, that one. Hmm. If I had half her heart, I'd be far away from here. Don't worry about Agnes. She's a tough one. Hmm. Besides, if she's gone somewhere, wouldn't she have written a note? Hmm. I mean, maybe. I mean, I know where he is. He's right there, but I'm not I'm not going to talk to him just yet. Hey, Stan. What's up? Ah. Oh, morning, Miss Arkwright. Sleep well, did you? Um, yeah, yourself? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, I'm okay, yeah. Oh, haha. <laughs> okay, maybe not completely. Some lads keep nicking my stuff. Hmm. I can't walk like this. Took the milk, my deliveries, even my bloody hat. Need a hand? That'd be grand, if, if you're up for it. I don't think he would have hidden them too far from here. But I did see him run away down that alley by the apothecary. Oh, error occurred with my stream recording. All right, sounds like I'm not streaming anymore. Oh, well. I don't think I've... Oh, apothecary. All right. So that gives us a reason to go down into that weird, uh, creepy fenced off area. Well, I don't consider it very creepy, but the game apparently does. What a lovely little town. Alright, let's go talk to... Let's go find this... Let's go find Stan's, Stan's stuff. Am my recording still happening? Yes, it is. Okay, good. That's all that matters in the end, honestly. You can press control to crouch under gaps like this fence. Reminds me of sneaking around places we shouldn't have with Agnes and Ernest. Okay, that's a uh, not very. Hey, a cleaver? Gosh, the butcher is rather careless. Sands milk. Today will be remembered as the day the Favoro townsfolk poured ale in their oats. Some of the bottles are broken. Herbert is a menace to society. I like him. Let's get this back to Stan once we've found the hat and deliveries. Of course you would like him. I'm too tall. Uh, let's see. What else, what else we got over here? Stan's letters. Good job. Now let's see if we can find the rest. Wow. What a, si what a side mission. Much wow. Neat little area, though. The well. Let's not mess with the well just yet. Uh, you... That's his hat. I think that's everything. Great work. Let's get it all back to Stan. Done! Well, mission accomplished. But what's at the well? What have we got there? A key? A skeleton key. Doors everywhere quiver in fear of your newfound might. Hey, B. Where do you think this well leads? I know. You're so useful. What have you got there? A key? A key? The key to my heart. Oh, careful that doesn't slip into the wrong hands, eh? Hey, B, where do you think this leads? Another world? Eh, a world of only mushrooms and damp bottoms, no doubt. I mean, I can't even get on there. Can I, can I take the key? So I can't take the key. Why can't I, why can't I take the key? 
Guess it's not that type of game, right? Oh, that's the cleaver they're talking about. That is a very bloody cleaver. What the hell is going on with this place? Anyway, I, okay, that's a little janky. Hey, Stan, I got all your shit. Like, are you really that lazy, my dude? That's everything. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thank you, Beatrice. Now, what have we got here? Aha, there is one for you. Here you go. The letter from Agnes. What does it say? Beatrice, I am writing to you again to underline the urgency of my discoveries. Hawthorne School's founders were a secretive group of scholars. I believe they might have built the school as a cover-up for greater research. Someone appears to know what I'm up to. It's scary. They've been covering their tracks, but they on that only makes me more sure of myself. You must not miss the first train home, B. Agnes. This could be bad. Listen, Beatrice. Now that you've got something inclusive, you can talk to me anytime and we can try and puzzle it together. I reckon this letter will also open up some possibilities with other people. So don't worry if we can't figure it out all right away. We just might just need to talk to the right people. Ah, so this, just press Q and we can connect the dots together. Okay, so this is where the mystery aspect comes in. Want to see what you can piece together? Let's try. All right, here we go. Let's outline what we know first. Then you can figure out what's missing. Uh, the scholars. Must be those tight-lipped intellectuals she was writing about. Where do you think they fit? Where do they fit in her into her disappearance? The stalker. Right, according to this letter, Agnes thought she was being watched. And you think it could be one of the scholars? It appears we'll need more than this to come to any conclusions. See if anybody knows more. Alright, hey Stan, what you know? Sorry I didn't see that letter to you sooner. Honestly, that boy. The professor's got his hands full with him around. Okay, so uh, nothing from him. He's useless. Got another letter. I shouldn't. I should have come straight away. She wouldn't have needed to send this. Scholars in connection to her stalker. All right. Well, let's go talk to Vega now. See if she's got anything new. Mm -hmm. Hello, dear. Found a book you're interested in. Uh, this is from Agnes. Huh. She wrote to you, did she? Let's see here. Huh. Oh. oh. Are you one of those scholars? Hmm. Well, this is a little alarming, isn't it? Huh. How can I help you? Uh, who are the scholars? I'm afraid I do not know exactly, but there are stories. Mm. Faybarrow is an old town. It is said it was built on magic soil, no doubt sparked by the mushrooms you find here. There are tales of a group of ancient academics building their libraries under the soil of Hawthorne ground. Mm. I believe this refers to Hawthorne School. I've often wondered why such a grand place exists all the way out here. This is a pretty huge school for such a tiny town. Mm -hmm. Protect or even hide piles of ancient texts? Now that would be exciting. What kind of research? You know what questions you know what questions to ask, girl. Hmm. However, I cannot give a definite answer. The legends say the scholars came to Faberil for something. Something that is beyond understanding. I heard once it was a gate. Hmm. Some say it was a hole. Others say it was a door. I mean they're all entrance ways or ways to get from one place to the other. But they all said it led somewhere where none return. Thank you, that's all. Hmm. If the scholars really existed and they really did hide things under the school, I think whatever they found must be fascinating beyond compare. Aww. You're welcome, dear. Whatever I can do to help. Hmm. I hope she's okay. Alright, so interesting. So we have the idea of an ancient conspiracy to open up that. There's probably something related to the eclipse. Let's go talk to some of these other doors first. <laughs> Looks like everyone's busy preparing for the festival. Let's not disturb them. I will disturb them if I want to. Hey, pumpkin boy. <laughs> the pumpkin scoop will be ready on time, Stan. I've told you once already. Never understood why you like that soup. Blech. I like pumpkin soup. Pumpkin anything is good, especially the Japanese pumpkin, honestly. I smell crumpets. Okay. All right, let's talk to this kid. This little shit. What's he got to tell us? What do you want? This letter is from Agnes. Whoa, yeah, I hate to admit it, but that has to be from her. All right, so she does know you. That means you're one of us. Uh, I think I might have skipped over some conversation beforehand. Welcome to the Brewing Bandits. We're a covert group of private investigators in Faborough. You're our third member. You can be Agent Ginger Biscuit. I'm Agent Yellow Flash. Ginger Biscuit. Ginger Biscuit? Yeah, get used to it, newbie. In this business, there's no telling the danger in using our real names. 
that everyone knows our names. Right, where's Agnes? You mean Agent Foxtrot? That's your first warning, Ginger Biscuit. I received my last report from Agent Foxtrot three days ago at 6 p.m., moments before she went to speak with the professor. So the professor is the one involved. And as far as the intel I've gathered can show, that's the last time anyone saw her. She was talking about someone she knew, maybe an old friend. That's me, dipshit. Ernest? Ernest? Oh, that, my, 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 there's another old friend. Wasn't really interesting. But not even the professor is giving away any, giving anything away. No suspicious, if you ask me. You saw her go in? Hmm. Exactly, but the strangest thing is, hmm. she never came back. There's no other way in or out of that room. And you didn't call the authorities. Uh, thanks, Yellow Flash. Yeah. You're welcome. Stay vigilant, Agent Agent Bi Ginger Biscuit. Hmm. But as far as the intel I've gathered shows, the professor's office is the last time anyone saw her. Not even Professor is giving anything away. Most suspicious, if you ask me. She didn't come out? That's the strangest thing. She never came back out. There's no way in or out of that room. Okay, thanks. There we go. Okay. Um, I wonder, do you have anything more to say, Vega? Mm -hmm. Something else? Is Lachlan a scholar? Mm -hmm. Do you know when I first met him, I thought of that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe his intentions are bad, but if they are still around, there's a strong possibility he's associated. He's inherited the school and his guardian to its grounds, so it seems reasonable to assume he knows everything about it. Uh, thank you for the scholars. Okay, that I, I think that's all. I, I hope she's okay. All right. E. Sorry I didn't get the letter to you sooner. Professor got his hands full. All right. Let's piece together some stuff. Let's see. The prof Let's see. Scholars, where do you think the fitness disappearance? Professor's office. Agnes was last seen in Lachlan's office. Hmm. Is Lachlan a scholar? It remains to be seen. We can't assume anything yet, but his office is a good place for us to start. Hmm. All right, let's try that again. Um, the archives. Hmm. Yes, doesn't that sound like Lachlan is you? You secret knowledge. He loves that kind of thing. And the entrance is in his office. There's got to be a hidden entrance in there somewhere. Beatrice, you did it. Agnes must have gone to the archives. He did the anime thing! God damn it. Now that we know we're looking for a secret entrance, all we have to do is sneak in and find it. Uh, ask Vega. He doesn't seem like the type to help us with something as mischievous as that. You're Agent Ginger Biscuit now. Surely our Secret Service can handle this. Really? Herbert? Yes, he's our man. Bet he's done it loads of times. Let's see what he can come up with. Okay. Good job, B. Let's see whether Herbert can add to this infiltration plan. Okay. Tell him the plan B. So you need to sneak into the professor's office, do you? Well, you came to the right person. As it so happens, I'm somewhat of an espionage professional. What we need is a distraction. Is that so? Sneaking into Professor's office, how daring. Taking a sip. There we go. But, 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 but I, I mean, why would we want to go in there? I know what kind of ruckus you cause, boy. Agnes is missing, no? I'd like to find her as much as you. She hasn't stopped by in a while, and I've been worried. Hmm, I see. You must be a part of an external bureau of investigation. I guess you can temporarily join our super secret infiltration scheme. So then. What's the discretion plan, Agent Ginger Biscuit? An unsolvable equation? Boring. A little, and how would we devise one he wouldn't see through? Fair enough. Bike is drink? Ho oh, ho, excellent. Uh, definitely not. A game of cards? I don't know about cards, but I've heard he plays chess. I'm not too shabby myself. I could be a distraction. Brilliant. <laughs> He'd never suspect that. All you need to do is sneak in and find where Agent Foxtrot went. I'll sneak in with you and help you find the clues you need. See you on the route. See you on the front, Agent Biscuit. <laughs> Did I ask why he calls you that? Best not. <laughs> ah, well, I suppose I ought to join the little scoundrel. Biscuit for a biscuit, eh? Damn it, Vega. That went well. Ready or not, here we come. Remember, we're looking for some kind of hidden door. Probably one of the reasons he was very adamant about us not, um, not touching things. We got a lead. We got a plan. Now it's time to get serious. Yep. 
there are more we can do. Scholars in connection to Stalker, Agent Ginger Biscuit, Snot Boy, Agnes Last Seen, CBM, and Lachlan's office. Alright. Maybe there's more we can talk to with some of the other students as well, too, on the way. The door I didn't open, talk to. Hush, if Murdoch is in there, he won't be happy to see you back. Do you remember when he thought we were, were the ones roughing up all the hedges? Yeah, we scoundrel. Scoundrel. Impeccable impression, Beatrice. What's the other what's the other one? The hedge cutters. I fear them to this day. He chased us with hedge cutters? That's kind of psychopathic. You're Adam, right? Oh, Harvey. Looking for Herbert Albert? Which way? The idiot ran into the square. I wouldn't want us to be seen talking to him. Why not? Isn't it obvious? Herbert Albert? No. Either. Okay, so nothing to talk with about him. So they had an interesting mechanic for the mystery, but I don't think the mystery is going to go on for much longer, right? Because this game, like I said, is supposed to be kind of short. Hmm. He must have been dropped on a child. Uh, he must have been dropped on a child. Yes, Herbert. All right, let's see what we can find. So they're going to have a nice little chess game. Operation Checkmate is go. Vega's got him absorbed in the mezzanine, but stay out of his direct line of sight. Hold control to stay sneaky in places that are risky. Best of luck, Agent Biscuit. Time to make our move. From the mezzanine, so he's up there. If you're looking to tug in on every book in the room, I think I'll take a nap. So many, we can't look at them all. Lament of the Fae. Lachlan used to read that one a lot. Could be connected to his research, I suppose. He's even got the adventures of Brom here. Brom Stoker? That was my favorite. Okay, that's... Okay, that's not correct. What about over here? Maybe there's some kind of hint in these files? Let's look. Nothing in incriminating. He's done a lot of research on energy sources. Resources. I don't see how that's connected exactly. At an exit? You're right. Hardly going to be a key to a trap door in here. Worth a look, though. It was. So we now learn maybe possibly as part of his motivation? Whoa, think our old boy is alright? That's a lot of whiskey. <laughs> that's a, that is a lot of whiskey. That's high-grade stuff. Wouldn't mind a wee dab. We drab. You might die. I know, I know. Let a fairy dream. Let's see what the other one is. Don't you dare. I know you were thinking the same. Okay. I mean, I think it would be over there, right? Kid, kid, be crouching. Don't be a dick. Oh, well. Oh, uh, gee, I wonder what the door is. Go on, Beatrice. You've got a mathsy brain. What does it mean? Two particles. You don't really know. Come on, we can't find any. We won't find anything with equations we don't understand. No clue. What? I thought you would know for sure. You always aced maths. Come on, we but we won't find anything with equations we don't understand. Okay, so we gotta find a way to solve the equation. Shh, Beatrice, don't make a sound. I'm trying not to, you prick. Those scrolls look authentic. Maybe he's got some old knowledge lying around. Not so useful for finding a hidden exit, but really rare. He's got access to all sorts of documents in high-end academics. Nerd. You're one to talk. Scrolls, okay. Later. Let's get a better look after we located Agnes. Hey, Beatrice! Honestly, I thought you'd have grown out of sneaking around. Damn me, off you go. Whoops. Okay, no punishment for... Sneaking or no punishment for besides this. The restart right here, but I think it... keep searching. There's got to be something somewhere near here. That's what I'm trying to do. That's a really cool window, though. I like that window. Maybe there's some kind of hint in the files. Let's look. I don't see how there's any connection to anything. Alcohol. So what do I look for now? I 
think I've run out of places to look. Oh, no, it's a typewriter. What? I hit the control button. Come on. I hit control. Come on. Am I just not able to go this way? Okay, so that's just a dangerous area. Like, I cannot... I just literally cannot go over there. It makes sense. That is in his direct line of sight. Okay, what is it? Come on. Gotta be something. I know, but... Oh, I mean... Does it just want me to go to here? Biscuit, don't make a sound. Try not to. Come on. Two particles. What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? There's like literally nothing else to do. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Sorry, would you come back later? We're in the middle of a game. Um, I think the game broke. Oh no, the game broke. The game broke. Oh no. That's no good. That's not good. Um, game. Well, I think our old boys are. Oh, here we got La Chambre du Général, The Points of Apex, and The Fantastic Tales of Cowboy Kevin. Honestly, with the amount of books on these shelves, the secret exit is as secure as can be. Let's look somewhere else unless we have no alternative. I don't... I don't think we have any alternatives, game. I think I'm out of alternatives. I am... I feel like I'm out of alternatives. The only other thing I can think of is that maybe... Come on. I literally cannot figure out where else I might be able to do stuff. Fireplace. What did you just... Was there a lever back there? Okay, there was just a lever. I was hoping to find, like, some slightly clever, more clever way to do that. Honestly, that's pretty cliche, Lachlan. Yeah, but Beatrice, what are you doing down there? It's a good thing you don't notice that shit. As I... As my... As the character model broke. Go. There we go. Maybe the maybe switching to this new level will will fix it. This is beyond anything I expected. Vega wasn't understanding libraries under the soil. Vega wasn't understanding libraries under the soil. How much research? How much? How many old texts? Agnes is here. Let's see where she went. But then she must have been down here for a long time. How deep do you to do you do to you do you think it goes? Pretty deep. Okay, yay. Yay, the character model got fixed. These are written in a mixture of transcripts. Looks like someone's been taking notes on top of the original text. This one seems to speak of fairy death. Blimey, we've become wisps. That's spooky. And a little existential. Oh, interesting. Interesting study. Here they've outlined a fairy transition into the other world. Oh, they're gonna... Oh, they're gonna kill fairy... Maybe they're gonna kill fairies to harvest for energy resources? Beatrice, I don't like this. I don't like it either, buddy. A dimension beyond human perception. The physical manifestation of conscious thought defines fairy matter. Being in a place like this gives these texts an alarming authenticity. Right about that. Here we go. What's this? I think it's talking about the Eclipse, but it's ancient. It's how old is this festival? On the Eclipse, the worlds touch and the gates are open to welcome memories to the old world. I've got chills. No wonder Lachlan guards this place so tightly. The study we can find for book 
Books, 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 books. Can't do anything with that yet. Over here, so it must be... What have we got here? Fairy human bond is one that has mystified modern science for generations. Over years, we have gathered the pieces of the lost true form society. Now their secret is within our grasp. They are one where we are split. Their fairy, their fairy was a part of them. In harmony with their mind, this form is not beyond us. If a perfect fusion is made, it may, is made, it may be the end of the human species and the beginning of a more whole being. Do you think Agnes knew all this? There are some drawings, too. Quick, slip them in your journal. I don't think this is an elaborate joke, B. Looks like we finally found... I should have known. Did Herbert have something to do with you getting in here? Uh, no. No doubt Agnes put him up to it. This place is older than the school itself. The building was built above to conceal what they found. It became an institution to spread our knowledge and a guard to the precious dangers of this information. I don't know what you've seen already, but I'm sure you've gathered the rough picture. Bayboro is the home of a portal to another world, Beatrice. The gate lies deep down these tunnels. When you arrived, I knew it was time I addressed this. Sir Agnes knew that. Eleven years ago, Ernest fell down the well from up in the town. He landed here, his fall broken by my papers and books. Him and his fairy, Orly, stepped through the gate, not knowing what it was. Agnes believed he is somehow still alive, but Beatrice, no matter what she may say, he is not. Why not tell us? Beatrice, you and Agnes were so young. The trauma of losing your best friend was, en was enough without the mystery of how it happened. You could have just still fucking told us! I could not bring myself to add confusion to already grieving and shocked children. I mean, fine, but like, you gotta... It's been 11 years, dude. At some point, you gotta tell us. What happened to him? Well, when I saw the scattered papers and books, I rushed down halls to catch who it might have been. I saw him. He turned to look at me on the threshold. And he was gone. What about Agnes? He never believed me. She's too sharp. She's been obsessing over it ever since. Well, yeah, because you're probably a terrible liar. And all the while, never trusting me. No shit! Of course, I shouldn't have expected her to. I failed her. Failed you all. Um, so are you still planning to harvest all fairies for some reason? Or to fuse us or something? I don't know. Is that your plan or is that just ancient texts? I had foolishly waited for the time Agnes would give up hope. But now she has gone through the gate not knowing the dangers of that realm. You know as well as I do that she is far too stubborn to listen to my advice, but you... She'll listen to you. There might still be time to save her. By that look in your eye, I'd wager you, you're dead set on bringing her back. I would go myself, but I have to protect the other children here at the school. Someone has to keep Herbert Albert away from coming down here, too. Um, okay. This took a turn. There's that. Same stuff. Handwriting, barely legible. These must be locked ones. The other looks older. Okay, so there's only two more pages, so we're running out of space, which means we're probably running out of game, too. Well, time to go save Agnes. Is the gate just a big door? I There's something wrong with this place. What a strange sound. Are you sure you want to do this? What about Agnes? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Just something about this place feels broken. No, that's not it. Absent. Yep. Makes sense. Okay, we got three pathways. Go to the left one first. Oh, way back at the start, it's easy to get lost in these tunnels. What is this place? Must be older than the school itself. Urgh, it's chilly down here. Okay, so it's not that one. Any clue? Let's try the right one. Ah, here we go. So right... Left. I'm thinking the crystals are kind of the, a key to it. Let's go straight this time. Oh, nope. Beginning again. 
direction is similar. All right, so let's try that again. So we could we go right, left. We go right again. Okay, so it's right, left, left. So right, left, left. Right. Ah, uh, good old forcing the puzzle. Left. Left. Okay, is, is there a clue? Right, left, left. So right, left, left. Not left. So right, left, left. This is not necessarily the most engaging of puzzles, but let's try straight this time. We haven't had a straight yet. And we're apparently not going to. So. so right, left, left, right. Right. Left. Left. Right. And we're here. Excellent. Agnes, you here? There's the gate. This is where they all go. Who? Wisps. I cannot go in there. Not yet. Agnes was not supposed to go in there either. If we go in there, we will not come back. If you must, I'll go with you. Oh yeah, we're going in there. Yeah, we're going in there. What is this place? What's the old school burst chili down here? Sorry about this. Let's go. Oh, that's a pretty image. But Beatrice. Uh oh. It's been such a long time. It's turning into a horror game now. Wait. Wait, that's it? That's it? Wow, what a cliffhanger. Oh, they got a kitty. Emotional support. That's cute. That's... That's all we get? I'm... A little disappointed in that, honestly. I mean, I knew it was a short game, but I thought we'd get some sort of, um... Some sort of... Resolution, but that's just a major cliffhanger. And I don't know if this game is ever planning to get like is gonna ever get like a sequel or something or a continuation never even see agnes or find out the truth of things um and also there's some ideas that i was like i like some of the ideas with like the mystery solving and like asking people around but like this is a really good proof of concept but i'm hoping that they can expand on and make a better game if they can make like a if they can make like a longer more interest longer game for this I think that it would be a very fun and unique game. Fay Barrow, Home of the Hawthorn, Son of the Hill, Thing Rascals, Delving Deeper, Secrets of the Fay, Under the Tree. But, right. well, anyway, this was, I mean, I think it has potential if the developers can get, like, the funds or, like, the, the time. I think this could turn into a really fun little indie game. Uh, right now this is a fun proof of concept, uh, but anyway, this has been Fay Barrow. Uh, thank you for all for watching, and I really enjoyed playing this for the little bit I had. Disappointed by the ending, but, eh, what's new? Anyway, take care, everyone, and have a nice time.